John Garron again with the One Minute How To Series. This segment is on Hapara and using the Smart Share feature. This is assuming that you've already gone into the class you want to share files with. The first step would be go to the Smart Share um, feature, which is in the upper right hand corner right here. You click on that button and it brings you to the Smart Share dialog box. There are three things you have to do is what file, with who you want to share, and whether or not you want to overwrite existing files with that name. So to start with the what you want to share, this icon will bring you to your Google Drive and choose existing files. These four buttons will create new uh, files of that type, documents, spreadsheets, presentations, and drawings. If we choose the Google Drive icon, it will access your drive. You choose the file for which you want to share, and you select it. You may choose up to five files in this manner. Uh, if you want to customize the file name with their first and last name, you can do so. When you click in here, it gives you the little um, reminder or help uh, window. Uh, percent sign F for the first name, percent sign L for the last name. So if you're going to do percent L and then percent F, that will put their last name, first name, and then the file name. And then you may make a copy of the file so they have their own that they can edit. They can do read only, which means they can only view, and then it just puts a link to your file. It doesn't actually make a copy of the file. Uh, share read comment, that means they get to view the file and comment on it, or they get to share read and write. This is a collaborative document that all students have access to the same file that they can write in. Uh, same way with this one, share the same file that they can all comment in. All right, um, when you choose the classes, you can choose multiple classes and choose all the people that are in those folders or you may choose by student but when you choose that option you only get to pick students by class you don't get to go pick students across classes and those are the files I want to share if you want to overwrite existing files if you've already pushed the file you've made changes and you want to do that then it'll push their file to the trash uh, not a uh, big deal because if they've already started it, just tell them that that has happened and they can grab their file out of their trash bin and copy and paste anything they need to from there as long as it's within the time limit of their emptying the trash bin. Hit OK and that will push out the files to uh, the students in your class. This will take some time and just allow it to do its work and you can go on to do something else. Alright, any questions please feel free to contact me. John Garen. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.